Hello, Fiery Jack Circus School. Devil Stick Pete here again. I'm going to teach you what I call the the foundation tricks of devil, devil sticks. These can be done with either devil sticks or flower sticks. I call them the foundation moves because 99% of tricks are based on the four moves that I'm going to show you now. So we've already learned, hopefully, to get to that stage. Remembering, hold the stick with a big bit out the back, finger along the side. Now, first move I'm going to teach you is what we call the rollover. What happens is, normally, I'm catching the devil stick near the end. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to catch the devil stick just below the middle mark there and it's going to roll over like that. As it's rolling over, I'm going to lift it up and then tap it back. Sounds complicated. It's not that difficult. I'll show you now. So, I make sure I've got my devil stick or flower stick under control. I'm going to do it with this hand here. This time, under lift push. Now, even if I don't succeed, the next time I attempt it, I'm going to attempt it with this hand here. There. Every time I try it, whether I succeed or not, the next time I try it with the other hand. And there's a very good reason for that. If you keep trying it just with your right hand until you got it, you'll never get it as good with your left hand and vice versa. So that's the rollover. I'll show you some of the tricks that come from that later on. The second move I'm going to show you is what we call the buzz saw. Now I've got to turn sideways for this. I put the devil stick or flower stick on my belly button. One hand stick goes just below the middle mark there. The other hand stick comes over the top. So when I move it away from my belly button, it's going to roll like that. As it's rolling, I lift it up. And I keep on doing that. Now the secret there, the secret there is don't try and push it because it go really, really quick. Just let it find its own time. The nearer the end you go, the quicker it will roll over. So keep it near the middle and learn that. And also, learn it the other way so this time the hand underneath goes just above the middle mark and the hand on top goes below and we learn it that way learn it both ways because there's loads you can do from that trick we can edit the bit where i just dropped it can't we the third move i'm going to teach you it's called the helicopter. Now this is one of those strange tricks because people tend to do it before they learn how to do it. That sentence makes no sense at the moment. Trust me, it will. When you first start doing devil sticks or flower sticks, you'll find that they start going a bit like that quite often. What's happening there is your hand stick Rather than catching, lowering and pushing, you're doing that movement. So as you do that, it's going to go off at an angle. And that gets it going like that. Well, we can use that in a trick. There we go. That's called the helicopter. What's happening there? My right hand stick is pointing slightly up and kind of pulling it towards me. My left hand stick is pointing slightly down and pushing away. 
So the stick that's pointing just slightly down pushes. The stick that's pointing just slightly up pulls. And as you can see, I'm now right near the middle of the stick. If I'm near the middle of the stick, that will help it get horizontal. If I'm going near the end, it's a lot more difficult. There. And again, learn that both ways. The last trick I want to show you is what we call single, uh, the flip over. The flip over, all it is, is giving it a flip there. What I actually do, if I'm catching the flower stick here, if I catch it just a little bit lower down, and that will leave it on there for a lot longer, like that. And then I push. Don't think that you've got to give it extra force and hit it over. You'll lose control if you do that. And again, as with every trick on every type of juggling, once you've tried it with one hand, even if you fail, try it with the other hand.